All right guys, quick video here on the F30. So I finally got it fixed. Had a bunch of issues with misfires and stuff and replaced like coils, injectors. Uh, went down that whole rabbit hole and then turned out to be, I did new spark plugs too, but it turned out to be a defective NGK spark plug, which is always fun. But uh, either way, time to continue. So gonna get the headlights in. Finally got some nice headlights that should work with this car. They're specifically made for the 2013 to 2015 F30s with the halogen headlights. So we're going to get right into it. Also check out this M3 I'm doing. Got a full wrap on it. It's turning out beautifully. Top notch quality. All right, if you guys don't know how to do a bumper on an F30 or basically any BMW, like literally even the new M3, um, BMW i8, they're all basically the same. There's a bunch of screws underneath, eight millimeters. This one's missing a ton of them because it's super old. Um, there's a few here, just like that. And then once you get those ones out, you get under here and those two holes that you see, so one and two, they're these long eight millimeters. Sometimes they're Torx on like four series, I think. And then same thing here. This one is just all weird because this car has been messed with a lot. It's like a flathead, but it, they're usually all eight mils or 10 mils. And then up here, you just take off the seal. And then there's a bunch of torques. Pretty sure those are T25s. Actually, no, maybe like T30. And that should be pretty much it. So, And you might have some connections for fog lights. Well, you definitely will. And if you have the PDC sensors, you'll have a connector there too. Okay, and there's how the two... 8 millimeter screws look, so they're pretty long, and they hold it all in to make it straight here. Okay guys, I have a piece of advice. If your BMW is kind of rusty, kind of old like mine, um, a lot of times these screws will not want to come out. So it'll just kind of twist in place, and that flap is folded down, and you have this like square thing. Um, so what I did, that square thing just twists when you turn the screw on the outside, which is, um, should be a T30. So you could access this one from this hole in the fender liner. You see it? And what happens is you twist it and that thing just twists around. And you see it, I sprayed some, uh, G, what is it? PB blaster. And it's still, obviously, that's not helping because it still spins. And that flap, I had to bend out of the way with a flathead screwdriver. The way to hold that thing is by using a 10 millimeter. So right there, I got a 10 mil open end wrench. And just find a way to grip it. Okay, so yeah, I have it gripped now, just like that. Just like I would grip a nut. And then from the other side, I could finally twist it with my screwdriver and it should come out. Okay, so I finally got it out. Kind of hard to see, but here's what it looks like. It's basically just a square nut and it goes right there. So then take out the bolt. There's three of them. So there's two down here. So there's three bolts holding the headlight. There's two down here. So one and two. And that one you have to get, it's really tricky. You just, I came in from the top, bent the fin fender liner pretty hard and got the screwdriver in like that. But uh, you just get that screw out with them. And the top one right here with this bracket. I don't think you have to take the whole bracket off. You also got two 10 millimeters to 
kind of hard to see. There's one right there. And then there's one obviously on that side too. And then the connector is right here. So two sides. Just pinch it. And that's it. Couldn't get to this screw with my screwdriver, so I just did this one. And the whole thing should come out now. Okay, and this is the the old or the new headlight. It's the LED headlight specifically made for halogen cars. And you can see it's not OEM. Um, if you're familiar with the OEM computers, it's a little bit different. They're in different places, the modules. There's one, I think there's one on the bottom and one right there. And then it also says BWM, which is pretty funny. So all I gotta do now is transfer all these clips. So one, two, three, and two more on the bottom. Put them on this new, this old headlight or the new headlight and we're ready to pop it back in. All right, so here's the first look. Got the new one right there. And the old one. It's looking all crappy over there. Uh, it took me a while to line it up. And it's still not perfect. It still sticks out a tiny bit right there. But you got to mess with the screws in there and there to get everything right. Um, it's a little hard, but you just got to mess with it. So I'll finish messing with it and I'll move on to this headlight and show you guys when it's all buttoned up. Okay guys, so I got them both on and it's time to put the bumper on. So I finally got the headlights all in, got the bumper back together and they look pretty awesome. Makes the car look a lot newer, a lot better. It was kind of, a, kind of an eyesore before, but now it's actually pretty sick. Makes the whole car look different. So let's turn them on and see what it looks like. But uh, here it is. They're very bright. Very nice quality. I'm gonna PPF them just to protect it because they are super clear looking. Uh, it's kind of hard to record it in the video but they look really, really classy, really sharp. Um, these are blinking, and that is actually uh, in, happening in person too. They actually are blinking. Um, and the way that I'm thinking to combat that is to turn off the amber running lights in the coating, which shouldn't be too hard, and hopefully that fixes it. And then that's how it looks with just angel eyes. And I already tried the turn signals. There's no fast blink. So turn signal works very good. And then uh, the other side, so there's no errors or anything like that. That's what's, that's what's awesome about this. Made specifically for this car. So the headlights work great. Only thing I noticed is uh, I do actually have an error right there. And when I checked it, it says parking light malfunction. That's what it says. Which I suppose I could show you. So right there, parking lamp malfunction. I'll see if I can clear that somehow, but it's not a huge deal, just a little triangle. And at 162,000 miles, I think one little error isn't the worst thing in the world. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that helps with someone uh, trying to make their old car look newer, looks nicer, a lot more modern. Um, definitely worth it, even though it is expensive.